Alrighty, get that recording started. Let's see, 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 see. There we are. Okay, we will join a league match waiting in the queue. We've had uh, four matches in this league so far, sitting at two and two. If we can get the win, we get prizes. There we go, join the match. Good luck. On the play, on the play, that's what we want. We got Bowmat to start things off. That's nice. Three lands, two lightning strikes. That's keepable. Hit the attack. Always yield. That saves some time later. And on we go. Eliota96 plays an irrigated farmland tapped to start things off. Blue white. So I'm going to assume this is approach, and against approach, I think the most important thing is to really just get out, get going fast. So we'll go ahead and deploy the Kenra and try to get that damage in. Oh, another irrigated farmland tapped. Looks like he's holding up probably sense yeah, sensor. Ah we drew into a mountain. So we'll play. We can play the desert tapped. That'll give us four mana in case we draw a Chandra or a Hazaret. We could save it to cycle it. We're going to want to leave one up for Bowmat. And if we cast Lightning Strike, We'll do that. Yeah, I think protecting the Bowmat is going to be the more important play here. Can't bank on drawing Hazard or Chandra, so we'll go ahead and leave ourselves a Lightning Strike cast and still be able to protect the Bowmat. All right, cycling a cast out. It's a good sign for us. Gets one of those out of the way. Okay, we've got a glacial fortress untapped, so he's not stumbling on mana. That's good for him. End step.
I think we'll cycle the desert. We could cast the lightning strike, get some damage in. Um, but you know, I think we'll go ahead and cast the lightning strike anyway. We'll hold the desert in hand again. Still gives us that play at the end of next turn, whether we want a lightning strike or cycle. And we can't really cast the Aether Sphere Harvester here because then we're tapped out and they can deal with our bow mat. Alrighty, we got a Supreme Will. He's digging. And number four, a rivulet. And he goes to his end step. Hmm. This time I think we'll cycle the desert. Alrighty, we picked up a Kenra and a Hazaret. We'll cast the Kenra. Get some more damage in. Two, four, five. Gets him down to two. Now, is he going to settle, 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 settle? Those come in tapped. I do get to go fetch. I'm going to go ahead and crack the bow mat here, even though I've got lightning strike to take him down to four and a hazard and a glory bringer. It's just too many turns. Six cards in hand, I think that's just too much advantage. Two mountains, second main, we'll deploy another mountain, and we'll have to pass the turn. Next time, next turn we can cast on Crop Crasher first, try to, try to bait out one of the uh, counters. There we go. There it was. I think that was the right play. So now we can most likely stick carry Zev. All 
All right. We'll try to get rid of one of these farmlands. There they were. Double disallow. It's all right. Drop the desert, always yield again this time. Casting a soul scar mage, see if he's got an answer. Career. That's always nice. Get to see an extra card eh, if it lands. Uh, nope, doesn't land. We'll get in for a point here, take him down to five. Maybe the Soul Scar Mage will be what uh, wins it for us over the next five turns. Paying costs, paying costs. What do you got? Another settle. I'll take more land. Thank you. Thin out my deck. Cycling a sensor. We'll hold that mountain in hand in case we draw a hazard, right? Give us something to pitch. Gonna cycle a cast out. I like to see those cast outs going away, but knowing that he's pitching those tells me he's got other answers in hand.
try to get Chandra through. Trigger the prowess anyway. Get two points in. That way it puts us in shock reach. And we can cast carry Zev. Or we can go for the win on the prowess attack. I think we'll go for the win on board here. Third, settle the wreckage. Alrighty, getting those lands out of my deck. Pass the turn. Let's see what, what has my opponent got for me. Six, seven, there it is, seven, seven, seven. Gain seven life off approach. That means I need to deal nine damage this turn. That just might do it. I get five off Hazaret. One, two, three, one, two, three. And that's why we kept the mountain in hand. Pitch the abrade. Two more damage for the win. Pulled this one out. It was getting close there. I think he had it the next turn. That approach. Oof. All right. We bring in a braid for gear hulks. And then another carry set just to gain that little bit of card advantage. Spotify stopped playing. Oh, that's weird. Will do. Okay. I'll start some water now. Are you guys on your way home? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool.
Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry about that. Had a quick phone call to take. Family stuff. Alrighty. Just in case I need that a braid. by one by one. Let's go. Now if I can draw a land, I can get Glorybringer. He's probably got the counter in hand though. I think we have to go for it, because if we draw another land next turn, we're going to want to eternalize the Kenras. One, two, three, four, five. We've got Settle the Wreckage coming our way. Do we play around, settle the wreckage? He could also have cast out or another baffling end. No, a baffling end doesn't take care of Glorybringer. Alrighty, no settle the wreckage. But he is going to field of ruin, okay. One, two, three, four, five. That does keep us one land short of getting to six, keeping those Kenras offline. I think we'll save the on crop crasher. Just attack with these, because he's got that one, two, three, four, five, six. He's got that settle the wreckage up. Six mana also means Torrential Gear Hulk could be in play. What's the play here? What's the play here? Do we swing with both? Let him settle. I think we do. There it is. Oh, no. Nice. Nice. It's good for us. He's digging. does mean land number seven and an approach of the second sun coming next turn puts him back up to nine. Nine. 
But if we keep on Crop Crasher back, he won't know about it. If he taps out for approach, four, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got it. We've got a good job, team. Elliot. Boom. There we go. And we got three wins for the league. We get our 120 play points. We'll be able to free roll the next one. And we got ourselves a nice little treasure chest. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.